good morning everybody um so it is saturday something of november first second of november and me and millie are heading down to pride in adelaide finally i've been planning it for like a, a year so i'm excited um we're about to head down to our hotel sort out we're gonna try and find more rainbow stuff because at the moment all i've got is a rainbow flag and that won't cut it for me um so we'll try and find some paint or something to do our cheeks and Take you on the journey with us. See you then. Let's get used to fake eyelashes. It took me like 20 minutes to put the fuckers on. Are you taking a photo with me? You're so lucky. You better not be. She's recording. She's I doing even better. I hate it. We're ready. <laughs> So Pride happened two days ago now. We just got home uh, back in Wallaroo a day ago. So I haven't had a chance to do the end of the vlog. Um, I didn't actually vlog that much because it was my first time at Pride, uh, any Pride event in Adelaide um, since I've been out and I just wanted to enjoy it and we're actually part of the march. So I didn't want to be on my phone all the time. So I didn't really vlog much and I didn't vlog my outfit or anything which I kind of regret um, but it was it was amazing it was everything I could have expected and more it was absolutely phenomenal it's something that I needed um, especially my mental health lately I just it was a great night um, and my friend from up here came down with us me and my partner and we took her to a gay club in Adelaide and everything and it was just like it's just a celebration all round and it was amazing and I've been doing some reflecting today how I feel about the whole thing uh in my memories it came up that I think it was three years ago uh, probably a month ago that I was in a relationship with a fella and that was the worst mistake of my life um there's just a picture of him came up on my on my um history and it was just like where i've come in three years is remarkable um i've had multiple girlfriends now and i'm in my longest relationship which is a year and shit a year and nine months wow we're coming up to so and it's it's just amazing that we've come so far well actually not even we me i've come so far i have been in denial about being gay for so long 
I even came out as bi first, so it was it was an experience and um my mental health when I was dealing with it was really bad because all in high school I went to an all girls high school and I would have crushes on girls all the time and I didn't know what to do about it so I would actually be boy crazy trying to stop every inkling in my body to date a girl or to act on it which I did a couple of times and I would just brush it off and be like no no that's just a phase or a fling or and I knew what my parents reactions would be so I didn't want them to know ever like honestly I would be probably at that age I would be fine with them never knowing and sometimes I wish I didn't because honestly it probably would have been easier um we went through a lot of stuff and it probably would have been easier and I go from like I watch lesbian youtubers I watch everything gay on tv like I love it and I'm so prideful of and proud of the fact that I'm a lesbian now and I think it's because I'm overcompensating what I used to feel and I feel proud and then I go from feeling proud and like I wouldn't change anything to being like you still get so much shit for being a lesbian it doesn't matter that society is changing there's still so far to go so I go back from yeah it's really it's really good we're getting there and I'm really proud and I wouldn't change a thing to it is shit and it is hard and it's been so hard on me all my life and to being like I wouldn't change this and I wouldn't choose it though so I go back and forth between the two I wouldn't change it but I wouldn't choose it so I <laughs> but the way I felt when I was in that march I was overcome by joy I couldn't you couldn't write a smile off my face I was so proud and to have my girlfriend and I could walk down the streets of the city in Adelaide with my girlfriend like and I am proud to be gay but I'm so proud to be with this specific girl like she is my person she's my number one in my everything and I just look at her my whole world feels okay like no matter what's going on I just feel like I'm safe and nothing bad's gonna happen that will be okay like no matter what's going on it's like we're always okay so it doesn't matter what else is going on and I just really can't wait to marry her and be with her all the time which I already am but like you know what I mean just to be able to say this is my wife which is great because now we can legally do that Yay. um so I just wanted to reflect on how I felt about the whole thing and if you've got any questions about any of it just you know comment down below and I'm going to try and make a video hopefully this week, we'll see how I go. I've got a lot of meetings and training at work so we'll see. And I never post what I say I'm going to post so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I don't even know, I haven't edited anything that I've actually recorded. So I don't know how long this video is going to be and whether it's even worth watching any of the Pride stuff. But I've also reflected so hopefully that makes my legs a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, I'll post soon, hopefully. I'll see you in the next video. Um, if you've got any suggestions or you want to know anything, just comment down below and I'll answer or try to give you any video that you'd like to see. Um, but yeah, ta-ta for now.